I grew up with that conviction that somebody has to do something for those who are not able to do it. And when I came to this area, I became a bishop here. I saw the families, how poor they were. And I questioned myself, how can I really help these people live a better life? Diocese of Masaka. It has an area of 21,299 square kilometers. Here, most of the people are agriculturists. We live on small plots of land where we produce subsistence food, and whatever is a surplus, we sell it for our family incomes. This area has become poor. Now the population has grown and is growing, so our plots of lands are becoming smaller and smaller. So that's why we are devising now new ways of utilizing what we have to the maximum. Now we are insisting on one common project, which is the zero grazing cow. We find this to be viable because it is also possible for the family. You have at least one animal and you give it the grass in the shed and you get the milk. Out of this milk you can feed your children because most of our children have got malnutrition. We all agreed that we would come up with a living loan which is our project. So we are not going to give them things free of charge, but we have to show them how to do things. We have to teach them how to do things. The concept is, first of all, we have to prepare the recipients, and that's absolute. We have been married for seven years, and we have three children. We have been in this project for three years and we first started slowly by improving on each and everything. We started with cleanliness in the house, the farm and finally preparing for the cow. They have to have at least an acre of grass so that they feed this animal and they have to have a shed where they are going to keep the animal. It has to be made in such a way that it is used for even the byproducts. We have the, the cow dung, we have the urine and so on, so they have to be provided for so that these ones serve in the gardens. So it's a kind of cycle of life. <laughs> From the day we started working on the cow pen, the children got excited and they kept asking questions about what we are doing and for what purpose. We tell them it's for the cows that will soon be here. My husband died in 2005. He left me with three children, one girl and two boys. They go to school but stay with their auntie. They visit me during holidays. The construction of the cow pen was not very easy. It takes a lot of money. I had to go through a lot, but I'm happy that I have reached where I am. And now that I have finished with the construction, I will soon receive the cows. The name of my first cow is called Balunji. The second, the youngest, is called Babla. 
and the last is called praise. I'm a single mother with children. Before I got the car, professionally, I'm a nurse midwife, but I retired. So this project has really boosted my income. At least I get something. We started in 1998 when we were going for training. We had several lessons about farming, how we can improve our income. I got the first animal on the 25th of May 1999 and we started of course getting the milk, getting the clean milk and boosting our income. We were getting money after selling it. We are taking it to the dairy. Farmers bring their milk, they form a collection center whereby all of them bring their milk to that center and then they put it in a can. Some are lying in a distance of 20-80 kilometers, which is far from the diary. Our vision is to see that we create a market for our farmers, improve on nutrition, get rid of all the diseases that are in milk because of the pasteurization that we do, and then finally when we make profits, we also again buy more heifers. When families receive these heifers, they really feel overjoyed because of that asset worth that amount of money. A heifer is worth 1.5 million, equivalent to $800. That excitement is not only for one person or one family, but the whole of the members in the village. So members join them in that excitement because they feel that their you know, joy is their joy also. Program so well. After a year, we got a, a hay which I passed on to another farmer was so beautiful. When we give a cow to a family, they know that the first calf has to be given away. After a period of about nine months, and they give it out very willingly because they want to share what they have to the others. And with that loan, he really feels it is his or her own gift. So that's why we call it a living loan. So in that way, the 14 cows we started with, now they have multiplied it to 400. And now with the coming of microfinancing partners in Africa, Caritas Mado sees that the vision is being realized. We got in touch with microfinancing partners in Africa through Sister Tony. And so we zeroed up uh, on this project, well knowing that it will go on propagating by itself. We're really very, very grateful for this connection and we're really very happy about their response to our need. So the microfinancing partners in Africa will help us to realize our dream. And if we really attain that target, that would mean that uh, we'll have created a steady income for our people because our people will be able to sell at least 18 liters of milk every day which is a good income. The incomes are increasing per family and that means that once the family incomes have increased they can meet their civic obligations. The gardens are better. We are now going organic farming you know we don't use the artificial pesticides these are from the animals themselves and we are using the biogas something which is very great we don't need now electricity those who have them cows at least more than one two cows they, they have got the, the biogas the 
Biogas is a unique project. Anybody with a cow can have it. They can cook from the biogas. So where they would be using firewood, now they are using the gas, which is costless. So they have the light from the biogas. So something which is improving the health of the people and the family. I'm enjoying the biogas project because it saves me time, it saves me money, and you get a properly cooked meal. To feed the animal, I get a lot of cow dung, I just to get my biogas. It's a chain of improvement and there's a chain of gains as well. I'm aiming at having 1,000 families profiting from this project so that it can propagate a little faster. All of us work together. He gets the broom. And I too get it and we sweep the compound together. When you improve your income, of course you have to feel happy. And we promise to teach the rest of the mothers in our country to join the project. I saw it as a miracle because I saw that instead of the cash, we have this and most then that's the project and things are working. When you involve young mothers to care for the animals, at least you may improve their future. Yeah.